question of the day was when was the last time you scared someone really badly or what's the worst like like yeah when was the last time you scared somebody really badly or if if you've never scared anyone ever in your life which i would not believe that but if you never scared anybody ever in your life what is the worst that you've been scared i <laughs> first of all maria i already apologized to you in person but i am so sorry so right before i started a stream like literally right before i started a stream i went into the living room to go get some water and maria had walked into my living room she had just went out on a run the best run that she's done since she started exercising since she started this fitness journey like i think she like ran uh, two or three miles in about 30 minutes ran the fastest she's ever had ran consistently like didn't stop came home covered in sweat and so i'm in the living room i'm in the kitchen about to pour myself a glass of water and she's sitting like she's standing off to the side like around the corner um i have a, my living room and kitchen are connected so she's sitting standing in the living room like taking selfies like yeah baby yeah the camera loves you baby like that she's taking selfies and she doesn't notice i'm there so i as i'm pouring my glass of water i am just watching her just watching her i notice that she never looks at me so I just stand there. I just stand there and I'm looking at her like this. And she's still just standing there, just. Yes, girl, yes, working out, yes. Like, you know, she's just posing, just posing. And I'm just standing, I'm just sitting there. And I was like, all right, let's see how long it will take for her to notice that I'm there. And so I, I stand there, just like this. I stand there. And then I smile. And I just stand there, I just stand there smiling just like that. And then she finally, like, after she was done, like, you know, she looked down at her phone, posted her picture, and then looked up and went, ah! like, this guy, like, so scared. And, like, I'm just sitting there, like, oh shit, I got her good. But then I see the tears start to well up, like, oh my God, you're so annoying. Why did you do that? I'm like, oh shit, I, I didn't mean to scare her that badly. So. Yeah, I scared her almost to tears. Almost, almost to tears. They were there. They didn't they didn't fall over like a waterfall, but they definitely welled up. So, Maria, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to ruin your great achievement today. Congratulations on running, was it two and a half miles, three miles today? Congratulations on all that. Second time I scared somebody half to death. It was my own mom. My mom, when she was in the Caribbean, I want to say like around 2006, uh, she was in Antigua. She was sleeping in a in a room over one of her friend's house and they had the window wide open and they were on the second floor too. Some guy noticed this and decided to take a ladder and climb into the window and rob them. And my mom woke up when the dude was like literally on top of her over across, like reaching across the bed to reach her pocketbook. When she woke up, he, like she screamed and scared him off, but he was able to grab her pocketbook. So when she came back, I think maybe a year no no no. when she came back like she was never the same like her sense of security was always gone whenever somebody came up to the door she's always really scary so when i went away from, from college my first semester i came back home i didn't call her to tell her i was coming home so she was at home and she was cooking doing her thing and i opened up the door and, cl and closed it behind me like, like i slammed the door shut like i normally do it's a heavy metal door and when i slammed the door shut i heard ah! like she just screamed i'm like the fuck? like did she just see a mouse or is she like watching something on TV? And so like she walks out from like, like out of the kitchen to the living room area where I came in. And I didn't say like, mom, I'm home. I just walked in and shut the door. And she had three knives, like three. If I have three markers over here, she had one, two, like Zolo, three knives in her hand. And she came charging me like, ah! like, ah! like ready to stab me. Cause she thought that I was an intruder. So what happened right before I walked in, she left her key in the door. She went inside, she took a whole shower, walked back out, and some dude knocked on the door saying, hey, ma'am, you left your key in the door. And so she took it, locked the door, everything was good. In her crazy mind, the person who gave her her key already made a copy of it and decided to come back and notice that she was living by herself and was coming in to kill her. And she thought I was that murderer. And so she was going to take me out before I could take her out. So my mom with three knives in her hand, just came charging at me. And like literally the last moment, like when she was like, just a tip of the blade away from me, she realized it was me and like, just dropped the knives and just started bawling her eyes out and hugged me before I even said a word. And I just kind of just stood there stunned. So I think that's the absolute worst I've ever scared somebody. And it wasn't even on purpose.
the worst I have ever been scared in my entire life. There's several times. There's times where uh, I thought I lost my keys and I couldn't get in my house and I was locked out of my house for a few days. There was times where I really thought I was going to shit on myself. There's times where I thought I was going to die. No, this time right here was like the most scared I was in my life. I, I think I was about like maybe like nine, 10 years old. And at that age, I had really bad acne. Like my skin is pretty smooth now. If I like could stop, if I would shave and I would stop eating so much sugar. But when I was younger, I had really bad juvenile acne. I think when I was in the um, uh, first grade, third grade and fifth grade, I had really bad acne. It would flare up. And it's very unusual for that to happen for some people because normally you get acne and then it leaves. It's like a, a thing that happens in puberty. But for me, it happened before puberty. And so I went to, my mom took me to the dermatologist to try to figure out what is it that this boy has? Like, why does it keep coming back? Is he allergic to something? And the doctors didn't know either. So I remember sitting in the chair and I'll never forget her name, Dr. Anderson. She was Jamaican, but she looked like half white, half Indian. Um, like she sat me in the chair and she was like, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with him, but we're going to have to have a biopsy. I'm like, oh, biopsy. That sounds mad cool. OK, raise the roof. I remember doing that. I remember sitting in the chair and the chair was raising up like because I'm really small. I'm like eight years old. So the chair was raising up. So I'm up to her level. I'm like, yeah, raise the roof. OK. And Dr. Anderson was just like, what is this kid on? Like, does he know what I'm about to do to him? And so she's like, all right, we're going to do a biopsy. So she came in with the like this long ass needle. Like it was like. And then she like pressed it at the bottom to squirt it because what they needed to do was inject my face with Novocaine so they can carve out biopsy so they can carve out the pimple and then throw it somewhere in the lab and analyze it. But I didn't know all that. Once I saw that big ass needle pop out, it was on and popping. Like it was on and popping. I was like, no, no, what are you doing? No, I'm out of here. I tried to get up off the chair. My mom was like, sit down, baby. What are you doing? Like, just let the doctor do her thing. I'm like, what? Like, are you in cahoots with this woman? Like, what? What are you, what are you doing? No, get me out of here. And like, Dr. Anderson was like, oh Lord, like what is going to go? What is happening with this, with this child? Is he possessed? Nurse, come in, nurse, we need your help. And so like, I'm like trying to get away. My mom is holding me down. Dr. Anderson's holding me down my ankles. My mom is holding me down by my shoulders. And I'm like, like, what, what, what is she going to take from me? Mom, what are you doing to me? Like, like, I'm just like shaking like crazy. And like the nurse comes in and she like trades places with the doctor, hold my ankles down. My mom got my shoulders down. Dr. Anderson like puts her forearm on my forehead to hold me down. So like she wouldn't like cut more than what she needed to. And like, she like sticks, like she like, as she's sticking me with the needle in my face, I'm like looking to my mom. I'm like, mom, why are you doing this to me? Why? I thought you loved me. Ah, I thought you loved me. And my mom is just standing there like, like just mortified. Cause I am wilding out so hard for no reason. For no reason like the needle wasn't even that bad it was just the fact that i am watching this long pointy thing basically just gets just get stabbed i'm getting stabbed in my face with a needle and then she takes a scalpel and like carves it out of my face in my brain that's what's happening but really it's just like a small incision take it out it was like a little scab that formed in my lip like right over here but yeah that's like that's what happened. And I was like, I thought you loved me. I thought you loved me. Why would you do this to me, ma? Ah! Like making all this noise when I can't feel a thing from a Novocaine. I'm just making all this noise. So after it was all said and done, I remember being super embarrassed because I had to walk out in the, I had to walk out into like the lobby where there's a whole bunch of other families just and like trying to calm their children down mortified because i made so much noise like typically you would think this kind of stuff happens at the dentist but no this happened at the dermatologist's office so i think i i want to say that was probably the last time i went to that doctor she probably couldn't take my ass anymore but yeah that was the most scared that i've ever been in my life <laughs> if you have a story like that feel free to, to tell me down in the comments or let me know in, in twitch chat but yeah, that was the most scared that I've ever been. Ooh. Hey guys, Editor Cyphers here. I didn't have enough content to make this video 10 minutes long. So here I am here with you.
just eating chips, waiting for 10 minutes to go by. Have you hit that like button yet? Did you smash that bell notification to make sure you get all my videos? Just remember, I'll be watching you and I'll be waiting.